Good morning. It is August 5th, Friday, and I am in Cooper Lake at my dad's cousin's house. They were so gracious to host us, Ron and Marsha. Um, and I'm just here for the long weekend. I used to come to Cuca Lake like a ton, not a ton, but a few times when I was in like middle school and high school. And I haven't been back in like six years probably. So it feels really nice to be here. Definitely a change of scenery from Florida, fresh water, not salt water. And the water's cold. <laughs> So we got in yesterday. It's about a four and a half hour drive from my parents' house in Pennsylvania. And then last night, we just kind of took a dip in the water, ate dinner and dessert and went to bed. And then this morning, I woke up and did a bar three workout right over there on the dock. And the dock is like has some dust and dirt on it. So now my legs are like a little filthy, but I'm gonna grab breakfast and hopefully, this is such a great angle, hopefully I can kayak today. That is my goal of the day. And then Ron is gonna make us pasta sauce and he is the, the cutest 87 year old man but yet he has like the heart and soul of somebody much younger. He's so funny, super Italian type of guy. Um, yeah, welcome to the lake. Uh, can I help with the groceries? Thomas, groceries? She's got a whole Carlo okay, here. This is this is pretty heavy. They're both heavy. No, I don't. I don't get it. It's heavier. I got it. Okay. She's young. She's strong. Right. <laughs> that stays in the car. Yes. That's, that's permanent. Oh, look at her go, man. She's got like the instamatic uh, hood. Pumpernickel bagel, veggie cream cheese, and fresh peaches from the farmers market. And there is mom and father still trying to figure out how to get in this paddle boat. And I guess he's wiping it off. Mom's probably like, it's too dusty. I don't want to get in that. Can you see them? My right shoulder feels like it's gonna fall off. I'm almost back. I like, feel like I didn't even go that far. But my arm feels like I went around the whole freaking lake. And mom and dad are, mom and father are just relaxing. I can see them floating, their little floats. Almost there. <laughs> so Ron and Marsha the water that comes out of the sink and the shower in the house comes straight from the lake and then just kind of like makes it way its way up goes through a water filter but still don't recommend drinking it they say but they just put a new pump out in the lake. And my dad's job <laughs> is to go see and make sure that it's far enough down and far enough out. So he is out there looking. But he used to be, 
I had a great swimmer. He swam in high school and at Syracuse and still holds records for swimming at his high school. So this is like his element. There he goes, dives deep down. Did you find it? Yeah. Yep. Well, I think it should be around 13 feet. How deep? It's only nine foot. Really? vertical the car is parked. I think any more steep, any steeper, and it's flipping over. What did you think? Yummy. It was very good. To be honest. I liked it. Okay. Why? I don't know. I always say that. I'm like, um, like if someone takes my class, I'm like, how was class? And I was like, great. Uh, and I'm kidding. like, well, I'm like, if it was awful, just tell me. Okay. Well, you're kind of last. It stinks. Yeah. <laughs> Towards the center of his body. There you go. A little bit superior. Higher. Oh, right there. Oh, what is that right there? Yeah, what's in there though? Like your arm <laughs> right in there. Kills like a pistol. <laughs> Kill the bastard. No. Cindy's gifts. <laughs> Are you looking for a second job? I'm just enjoying their uh, woodwork. I kind of think it's funny. Um, one of the Amish girls was playing on her iPhone with AirPods in. <laughs> Just like, you like it? I was just thinking Galen could do that. Rebecca used to work somewhere that sold, sold Polish pottery.
she already owns like five of these types of shirts. But this is the one. Yeah, it was a cute walk around to see the culture. But we're off to the winery. Stop! <laughs> back was just buying and then they would bring them back down to the docks and then giant wharfs would bring the grapes to Hammond's port hmm. and that's where they made it out.